Welcome back. You're still with us on Open Exchange. The mining in Daba is currently underway in the Western Cape. Uh, joining us from our Cape Town studio is Monique Mateis. She's the head of economics at the Chamber of Mines in South Africa. Uh, Monique, let's pick up with the, the with a speech from the minister this morning. What were uh, the key themes, uh, the key thoughts uh, from the minister this morning? It's always very exciting when as industry we can part with participate with government and certainly this morning we heard that come that message come through so strongly government has indicated minister Ramaclaudi encouraged investment into the mining industry indicating that although we find ourselves at a point where commodity prices for the sector cross the border at low levels certainly the excitement and the commitment from government remains to ensure that policy stability is brought about in a way where investors can ensure in the short term and in the long term there are abundant opportunities which together the, the industry and government and labor and communities can benefit from going forward. He also spoke to his ideal and his wish for a mining champion and I think that's been quite a point of interest around this mining in Daba. His point there is to say that the opportunities presented by some of the challenges faced in the mining industry is that government can get involved to form broad-based ownership in the industry from labor and from communities in the mining activities and operations that exist in South Africa and certainly from a chamber and an industry perspective we would support government in that venture I think when when government understands intimately the challenges and the opportunities that that mining industry faces on a day-to-day -day basis it makes us stronger as a nation to ensure we optimally unlock the opportunities of the resources we have Monique, it's one thing for the minister to say that he wants investment, wants partnership, wants to work together, all that good stuff. But you as a chamber representing the industry, but also the people at the Indaba, they'll be wanting to hear what's going to actually happen on the ground uh, to further those partnerships and the investment. Absolutely. And so there are a few key initiatives underway. One of the initiatives Minister Ramaclaughty also spoke to was MIGDET a tripartite between government, industry, as well as labor to unlock very specific issues. Um, and so we are working so closely to ensure that policies are put to bed and that clarity is brought, specifically around the amendment bill. He also spoke to the urgency with which they are addressing that. And we certainly as industry are engaging with them regularly to ensure that comes about. Monique, uh, talking about policies, one that uh, seems to come up quite a lot is the BE uh, coal contracts. Um, what is the sense that you're getting from the mining in Daba amongst uh, CEOs and investors? Uh, do they get a sense that the government is putting a transformation ahead of economic growth? Certainly transformation remains at the foremost of the agenda for government and for industry as well. We've committed to a mining charter target set in 2014. That assessment process commences and is underway at the moment. The findings of that released within the next few months. I think from the specific coal question, Government has indicated around the mining in, Char uh, in Daba that they are engaging with the various ministries and peers to ensure consistency around the 26% target. I think there's a recognition that it's not optimal to have inconsistent and different um, empowerment and ownership targets from different ministries that one sector needs to abide to. And so, you know, we are pleased that the right discussions and noises are being made. Um, but in the interim, it does put companies in a difficult position where, they are, where there are different requirements that they are needing to meet. Looking at uh, the mood of the conference, sometimes it's not what's actually said, but it's the response to it. What's your reading, Monique? I mean, you know these people, you work with them. What was the mood in the big room when uh, the minister spoke? What was your sense of uh, their response to what he was saying? I think there was firstly relief that investor in confidence was restored, that there was encouragement for investment going forward, that there was good dialogue about working together with industry and labor and, and mapping a way forward. Investment communities are skeptical, so yes, skepticism remains. 
I think we have together a long way to go uh, to ensuring that we get a significant amount of restored confidence. But I think the right steps and the right sounds have been made that have been received. We will be watched very closely as a nation in the weeks and months that unfold. So we have a lot of work to do together to ensure that we bring about and deliver on the promises and commitments we've made. You spoke about uh, there's some skepticism, but uh, are we seeing renewed trust between uh, Labour and government? The trust building process, as I'm sure you're aware, is a delicate process that takes some time. And so a lot has been done. As we are still in the midst of wage negotiations, particularly for gold coming up in the next few months, Tensions will rise again, but we are, are very confident that government has it foremost in their mind. They are focused on bringing solutions, uh, certainly as industry with labor as well as government. We are proactively engaging to ensure that the, the due processes in terms of, of our legal system is abided to but also that there is fairness in the approach and the negotiations that labor is heard in terms of their needs but that ultimately we don't cripple the mining and the and the globe and the south african economy again and that there's sense and sensibility in the approach in how we unfold that trust has been rebuilt we have some way to go but we actively engaging that in that Thanks very much to Monique Potes, who is Head of uh, Economics at the Chamber of Mines in South Africa. She's talking to us from our Cape Town studio. Well, we cross now from South Africa to West Africa, and it's over to Wale in our...